Hello, hello, Fee Jameson Folland, the Lifestyle Aligner, with two keys to effortless ease. Oh, you love the way that rhymes. <laughs> and before I do so, let me show you. It's a beautiful day here in Ayotearoa Paradise. Not actually, a, well, there are a couple of clouds in the sky. The land of the long light, white cloud is not being too cloudy today. So we really are having contrast at the moment. Um, at the time of me beaming in, we're having one kind of full day of rain and it's quite cold. <laughs> the temperature drops to about five degrees and it's blisteringly warm uh, with lots of sunshine. So life is good. So this is all about closing the gap between our, like a to-do list, if you're a to-do list person, and actually achieving what it is that we desire. So actually becoming productive. It's closing that gap. <gasps> Chose the t-shirt. <laughs> deliberately. So this is basically what these two keys come down to that I've been trialing and, and testing and using for at least a couple of years now and kind of boiling down from all of the fabulous ways that there are out there from various, various mentors, people who are experts in this area when it comes to productivity, who um, have really made it their life's work to focus on this. And for me, this, is, this has become something of a... Um, it's... It, it's a, it's a, what would be the word? A focus of mine, I suppose. It's a passion of finding ways to be more productive so that I, I we, you know, we all have 24 hours in the day and it's not so much having more time in the day, it's what, we, it's what we do with that time that really makes the biggest difference in terms of what I found. So I ditched my to-do list. You have heard me speak about this before if you've watched previous episodes where we're relating to productivity or speaking into that topic. And what I've done instead is switch to prioritization. So figuring out what it is that I choose to do that day based on my life values and therefore my priorities from that. But the first, the first um, um, key really before getting to the priority for the day or that week or that month or quarter or year or three years, five years, is to um, really give myself space. Because you know this is where we can really tap into our genius as Gay Hendricks um, speaks about. Um, in his book and it's it's that it's becoming aware allowing ourselves to become aware of what it is that our, our inner wisdom what it is that we really know needs to be done next but when I kind of cut down some of the story or oh my gosh I need to get this done now if I can just pause for a moment and for me this is mind freeness time not, not mindfulness time it doesn't have to be like I meditate for half an hour it might be three minutes it might be five minutes in terms of what I might have I use something called the relaxation response that really helps me with that and it shifts me away from the sympathetic nervous system and actually allows me to be more conscious consciously aware and allow space so the first key as you will have picked up, is to create a little bit of space. And that might for you might be meditation. For me, it's mind freeness space um, and kind of this combination of visualization, mind freeness, and meditation. And then the second thing is getting clear about what our priorities are and following through with those and minim minimizing them, making a, having a smaller number to focus on. So if you have ever trialed either of those keys yourself, I would love to hear from you. And also what you have found that can be the most product, uh, helpful way to be more productive. So tuning uh, out from the very beautiful New Zealand and uh, looking forward to seeing you on this week's Ally with Fee. If you found this useful, please do share with, some, with uh, someone you know who might be uh, uh, ready to be more productive. And I'll see you a little later on Ally with Fee. Ciao for now.